To get started, I'm just going to unzip the file I downloaded off of MediaLoot.com and then open up the PSD in Photoshop. This is opening on my other screen, so bear with me one moment. Okay. The file is pretty large, so sometimes it takes a little bit for this to open. Try to be a little bit patient with it. So the Vintage Greetings Postcard Generator is simple, but it's actually extremely large. So sometimes things take a very long time to update depending on what your operating system and computer specifications are. But basically, we're going to edit things in the Smart Objects folder of the layers here. Um, for example, in order to change the main text, which is Texas, you would go ahead and double click that smart object to open it in a new um, pane here. And then you can edit this like you would anything else. Um, I'm just going to change it to where I locate it. Click enter. And then I want to save this before I go back. You can either close this or just save and return to the main file to see the results. Again, this can take a little bit of time to process. So that's how you change the different that text um, to change the text image. You're going to click this. Uh, we don't have an image to start, or I, I'm not sure if it's linked. Um, but you can place an image here. I have not done any pre screening on this. This is just going to be a really silly photo of me because I don't have a Philly set photo set up. And you probably should bake it all the way around. Again, I'm going to save this. I just clicked Control S or Command S. And then go back to the main file. And you can see that goes on the main text. If I made an image that was um, full width here, then it would extend the full width across Philly if I want to do that. Small text, um, you can just open these to see what they show. I'm not going to update right now. So this is greetings from, this is the small text. You can change that. You can also change the font once you're in these smart objects. Company text would be right down here. Um, background image would be in the background, like behind Philly I have written here. So on and so forth. So then once you get the content correct, um, you can change the overlays and the textures and things like that. Another thing to note is that if you wanted to change how Philly is curved, you would also do that um, here. So I could change, you know, the sizing and placement with this. Again, saving before I go back to the main file. Again, that doesn't look good, but <laughs> you kind of see my point there. To get the other layouts that we have in the preview images, um, I do have some files that make it easier to get started with. Um, they're really large, so I didn't want to include them all in the download. We also have a couple of um, written instructions, so just let us know at info at medialoot.com, and uh, we'll get back to you. Thanks so much.